on this one, my ends are hanging over a little bit. I'm just gonna stick a piece of foil right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of this end without putting another stripe down. And just to make sure my foil doesn't slip, I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of tape to make sure that these foils are together. And then I'm just gonna use that same red orange, which is that level five red orange, and just paint right over the top. And you always wanna stop, you don't wanna go into the tape, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away from the tape in either direction. Because if you go, if you go up to the tape, you're gonna be shoving color underneath it. And that's gonna distort your line just a bit. If you are working with semi-permanents that aren't going to need to process, it's a good idea to put color block on panels where you don't want that color to stick. So um, not necessarily on these striped ones, that would be a little bit more difficult to do, but on the, on the spotted ones, if you are using a special effects or anything that's more of a stain, it becomes much more difficult to rinse out when you've got pieces that aren't, that you don't want that color to stick to. When you're gonna be rinsing out that color, you don't want that rinse just in that rinsing action to actually like get your color stuck someplace that you had not intended it to be. So using a bit of color block or conditioner or anything else that will um, keep, it from, keep it from sticking to the cuticle is a good idea go over more of that and we do the spots. Okay. And again, I'm just going to set this to the side. For our spotted panel, I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use a black and I'm going to use that same red orange. First thing, again, make sure you straighten out your hair. For this, I'm actually gonna go grab a clipboard and then we're gonna clip this to it so that we can make sure that this is extremely flat and stable. So I've got my clipboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do the same thing we did before. And I'm gonna tape this piece of foil so that it covers all the way past the end. I'm just gonna tape that to the clipboard. But I'm also gonna do something different. On this one, since we're not just painting the ends, I'm gonna put a piece of foil up towards the top to protect that as well. Now, for it to hold the weft, I'm just gonna clip it right underneath the top of the clipboard. Like that. So that it's firmly in place. Okay. Since we want to make sure that this lays completely flat and doesn't move because spots, you really want to stay very stationary, I'm just gonna take a rubber band I'm going to put that over the whole thing. I'm just going to put that over the top and it makes sure that that hair like doesn't slide around too much. Now for these, I'm going to use a two end so it's not quite black, so I'm going to use um, 
a darker color for the outside of the spots and then we're going to use a, the reddish color for the interior of the spots. I'm going to do like a leopard print motif. And again, this is where if you were going to be doing this with non-permanent color, with more of a stain, even, even sometimes when you're doing permanents, if you think that they're going to bleed or that there might be a chance, go ahead and put some color block around your entire print when you're finished. Let's see. This, I'm going to use this as a, it's an, actually a makeup brush, but we're going to use it because we need to be more delicate for our, for our spots. So. I'm just going to mix this in really good. Consistently tight. 